and I'm back. Hey guys, Night Rider 7602 here, and today we are starting a new series of videos. Yes, so it's not a horror theme thing or anything since it's October. I'm saving that for the end. Hopefully, if I actually do get a chance to do this video. Getting a little strange outside. Anyways. It sounds like a freaking banshee or some shit. Okay. Whatever. Uh, what was I saying? Oh, yes. So, new series of videos. Yeah, sorry about that, guys. It's a little strange to be in my neighborhood at this time of the day. But whatever. So, new series of videos called The Night Rider Experience. Or... Name subject to change, maybe. Maybe it's going to be called, like, the like, Night Rider's, like, past, like, maybe the past of Night Rider, the, the legend, like, Rider Remembers. Let's do that. There we go. Rider Remembers. Okay, so for the first episode of Rider's Remember, we're going to talk about, let's see, hmm. How about cartoons and anime? Yeah, yeah, do don't 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 scoff because I'm saying it's the same. It's not the same thing. I'm gonna split it up. So let's start with um anime. So okay, everybody remembers their first anime, right? And when I say that, people men normally will probably mention Pokemon or DBZ. That's because that's everybody's first anime. My first anime was Pokemon. I'm not ashamed to admit it, and that's no problem with it. Because Pokemon and DBZ were pretty much like the gateway into the people's lives that became more anime-ish. Like, you know, that became more involved in anime in the later years. So, um, let's get started. So, how did I start watching Pokemon? Pokemon virtually started for me when I was in pre when I was in preschool. What happened was basically my days were kind of short, you know, preschool we don't do much, you know, whatever. Well, after spending at least maybe an hour or two crying in the bathroom because my teacher was mean to me, I mean, I swear to god that chick dragged me out once. She dragged me out the fucking restroom like a she was a total bitch. Anyways, Odd childhood moment aside, when we will have nap time, our teacher will normally put on a movie. And she put on the first episode of Pokemon. And that's when I first really got hooked into it. And I was like, oh my gosh, this, this is like awesome. Like, this is awesome. This isn't like the normal cartoons I watched. This isn't like Batman where plot lines are resolved in like a single episode. This is like continuing storyline. Like, cool. I'm like, excited. I love it. And I found out that Pokemon was on TV before I go to school, so I'll at least watch an episode before I leave. And with that being said, it was always like, oh my gosh, can't wait to watch Pokemon when I get home tonight, or when I get, when I, like, before I leave. Then Wild Force came, and then that all changed. Well, that's, that's for a later video. Anyways, when I got home to my grandma's house, that's when things started to get a little like ramped up in the action production of television because it would normally be the big guy in Rusty or Lightspeed Rescue that will be on TV at the time. And after those two shows aired, and I was like in that dead time waiting, I'd be like, ah, oh, jeez, what am I going to watch now? So I turned to Cartoon Network where a little sub chip network known as <clears throat> Toonami was playing. They played a lot of my favorite shows like Batman Beyond and Thundercats and various other shows. But it was the release of this very special show called DBZ that really hooked me into the anime life. Because when I first watched it, I was like, whoa, this is some intense stuff. I mean, the action is so crazy. They have, they have stuff coming out of their bodies in which... I had no idea what blood was at the moment, so. 
I, it wasn't until I got a blood trend, like a blood, my blood taken, I go, oh, that's the stuff that'd be pouring out of, like, Goku and the others when they're fighting bad guys. I don't think my doctor laughed any harder than when she when I said that. So, yeah, that was pretty much the first time I saw DBZ in general. <clears throat> and, yeah, you know, it was the Saiyan saga, so right away, Goku, like, gets killed by the special beam cannon. I'm like, oh my gosh, Piccolo's, like... Oh my gosh, he's like just sacrificed himself. Like Goku just sacrificed himself to save his son. Oh wait, he's still alive. Oh wait, well he's actually dead. And there was that whole thing with Gohan training with Piccolo, and it was pretty cool. And I mean, for the time being, it will be like I watch Pokemon and DVC Pokemon before I go to school. DVC after I get home from school and do my homework. And this really continued on until like the end of DBZ, which was the Boo Saga. So, in between then, the cartoons I would normally watch, like, you know, aside from the anime, was, well, no, let's keep, let's keep going with anime for a bit before I go to cartoons. Uh, basically, my grandma, who took notice in this, always told me, like, this important lesson, like, I, one day, like, I would grow up and I would stop watching cartoons and, like, stop watching cartoons and anime in general because... They're for children. Don't get mad. My grandma was really smart. And I understood what she meant. Like, there will be times where you have to, like, hide the fact that you have to be in, like, you're, in, like, you're just one of those people. Or so I thought. But as time progressed, as, well, as the week progressed, I'll be super excited. I'll be like... Oh my gosh, I will rush to the front of the TV and I will turn it on and watch Lightspeed Rescue. I'll have my action figures. And I'll be like, okay, I'm trying to watch DBZ. What's going on with Goku today? Oh, snap, Goku. And I remember the first time Goku went Super Saiyan. So I'm sitting in front of the TV at my grandma's house. And I see Goku like getting like really angry. I'm like, whoa, what's going on? What he's doing? And he's like, oh, snap, his hair's turning like yellow. I go, whoa. And he just went full out Super Saiyan the first time. I'm like, Whoa, that blew my mind. I'm like, whoa, whoa, dude. I mean, people were talking about it like at the next day. Like, did you see DBZ? Holy crap, what the heck happened to Goku? He's like the legendary Super Saiyan or something. There you go, he was a Super Saiyan. I was like, whoa. And I just remember seeing that entire fight with Frieza and Goku slapping the shit out of him and everything. And I was like, dude awesomeness pokemon i mean yeah for i think forever one of my favorite episodes will always be the one where ash fights where um they go to the i think the gym where it's the guy has a raichu and he totally like decimates pikachu and pikachu's like in the hospital and all that shit and it was like and it was all like he wanted to still fight and he never wanted to evolve because he he believed that getting stronger at his own like on his own merit. Which is understandable. He doesn't want to evolve. And. I really got to the point where. I actually watch at least. I watch every season of Pokemon. Up until I believe. Diamond and Pearl. Because I really just started thinking. This shit is getting repetitive. DBZ. Back on the DBZ side of things. Uh, watch the Cell Saga, the Android Saga, the Cell Saga. Uh, I remember breaking my Wolver my Wolverine action figure over an episode with Goku and um Gohan about the uh, about destroying Cell, and then seeing the the Father Son Command Mail Wave. I think I think they would they would do episodes on Saturday on Saturdays I think, and they they showed like uh like the Father the, that big episode, and I'm like. Holy crap, it was like a big, like, you know, the, the beam struggle, and it was like, <sighs> awesomeness. DBZ went off the air for a while, you know, to do, like, to do the Boo Saga, and then they did go back and do D Dragon Ball, the original series, which, I couldn't stop laughing watching that. Not that the show was bad, but it was, like, extremely hilarious. Then came a show called Gundam. Well, Gundam Wing was the first series I've watched. I mean, I wasn't a huge, I wasn't really a huge of a fan of Gundam. I was a huge fan of Mecha, 
I was starting to get into a huge fan of Mecha to like, you know, watching stuff like Gundam Wing and the big guy in Rusty and um the Big O, which was um which was on Cartoon Network before he moved it to Adult Swim. Now, I never knew about this much as a kid. Mainly because I wouldn't normally be asleep at that time, but they actually had a tsunami after dark, and this helped greatly when. Was that lightning? Oh no, it wasn't. Like one day, uh, I got home from my uh, vacation to Mississippi at my dad's house, and he was like, "Oh, turn on the TV," and like, "No, we haven't eaten much, so um, let's get. I'm gonna let's make. I'm gonna make food, dinner, basically, and then we're gonna go to bed." And I remember watching, like, Uncut Gundam, like, Gundam Uncut, and I was like, whoa, this shit's more intense, like, after dark, like, in the middle of the night. But that was only because I thought I was tired, not before I realized, yeah, it's freaking thunder inside, damn. So I'm hoping I don't lose power, like, in the middle of this video. I shouldn't, but let's hope not. Anyways, so, like, I was, like, Gundam, 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 big fan of Gundam, and I remember my favorite Gundam series of all time will always be the series everybody hates pretty much, G Gundam. I don't know why I love G Gundam so much, maybe it's because instead of the, you know, instead of the pilots doing this a lot, it was more, like, combat, combat-based, like, movement. Like, like, have you seen the movie Real... Like, it's like watching that scene from Real Steel where, um... Hugh Jackman's character's all like, watch me, and he's doing, like, the moves, and then, and he's like, you know, watch Real Steel. It's kind of hard to explain it myself, for some odd reason. And... That... I really loved the story. I really loved G Gundam, and it was pretty cool. And I love seeing, like, the ending where Domo will have the Gundam in, like, his grasp with the shining finger, and he's like... Have you seen this man? And it's like a picture of his brother. And he's like, no. Okay. Boom. I'm like, whoa. Don't like just blew that dude's head off. I mean, I remember seeing that episode with the dark Gundam too. And I was like, that was like the most intimidating Gundam I've ever seen in my life. Like, yeah, not even Four's Gundam and, like scares me. That thing just fucking scared me as a kid. I was like. Oh my god, it's a giant Gundam with, like, freaking Hydra heads or some shit. Yeah, I was old enough to know what a freaking Hydra was. Like, seven. I was seven to figure out to know what a Hydra was. My, I was raised by really smart people. I was raised by smart people, and I guess watching Hercules really helped. And, virtually, like I, like I said, uh, Tanami... A really cool thing was, um, every Friday, Tanami would air, like, movies... And Friday nights were really awesome for me because that would be the day my, my mom would be like, okay, Greg, we're going to order pizza. Do you want pizza? I'm like, yeah. Or, hey, you want Chinese food? You want Chinese food? Yeah, we're going to go out. Let's go out for dinner tonight. Okay. And my mom's like, what's wrong? It's because um, the new Dragon Ball Z movie's coming out. Oh, okay. Oh, wait. And my mom's like, we'll look on, like, probably look online or something. Or she'll go, oh, wait a minute. That new Dragon Ball Z movie's like in Blockbuster. We can go rent it. I'm like, okay. The worst person to do this with is my dad, considering the fact that he's also, he's an otaku himself. So whenever I spend the night with him, it'll be like Friday night, the anime movie night. He's like, what's on tonight? What, movie, what anime is on tonight? I go, uh, Dragon Ball Z, like, uh, Revenge of Cooler. Oh my god, let's do, okay, okay. Let's go to 7-Eleven, let's go stock up on a shit ton of food, and we're watching it. We're watching a 53-minute movie, and he overdoes it. I go... Daddy, you overdid it. He's like, shh. But it was a good thing that they actually didn't show it right away. They showed, like, Reboot and other cool shows. And my dad's like, yeah, this is so awesome. And I get to spend it with you because you're my son and you're my favorite. I'm his only child. I was his only child. And it was really cool. Like, this, like the moments when I spend time with my dad will be the moments sitting in front of the television watching anime... Or something really like super like nerdy like superhero stuff, and then really like tsunami started like 
Toonami, like, stopped going on weekdays and started doing... They did weekdays up until Saturday. And that's when they did the Boo Saga. And I remember sitting there with my dad watching Vegeta's Sacrifice on DBZ. It's the really famous scene, like, where he's about to blow himself up and he goes, Goodbye, Bulma, Trunks, and even you, Kakarot. And he blows up. My dad goes, Oh my god, that's like the first time he ever cared for somebody other than himself. I'm not even kidding, the dude said it himself. I'm like, yeah, he was kind of like, it's all about me. And then, like, when he really realized who was in danger, the, the people we actually cared about was in danger, he gave his life for them. And then my dad goes, son of a... And then my, I remember my dad got, like, extremely pissed when Majibu, like, just came back. He's like, what the fuck? He, he blew up so far for nothing. Like, don't worry, Dad. I'm pretty sure they have something up his sleeve. Sure enough, like, a few episodes later, uh, Vegito came. Like, my dad's like, oh, hell yes. They're, they're putting the hurt down. Kid Boo. My dad goes, fuck, did he shrink down to the size of a midget? I go, I'm like, I don't know, Dad. He looks like a little kid. Uh, fine, he looks like a kid. Blew up the planet. Like, that's like, damn. Damn. That's like one hell of a temper tantrum. And then there was like Super Saiyan 3 where my dad's like, I wish I had hair like that. I'm like, me too, dad. Me too. Don't don't ask me why. This is like our thing with me and him. It's our thing. And really, when it was all said and done, we were kind of sad. And I remember, like, probably after DBZ, like, a while back ago, like, during the Android Saga, they would show Knights of the Zodiac, which was my biggest obsession of life. I shit you not. Like, if you were to catch me back in the old days, you would probably see me try to mimic, like, the, uh, the Pegasus Meteor Punch, the Diamond Dust, Phoenix Phantom Fist. Like... Holy crap, that show was awesome. And I do like, I do rewatch it from time to time, but I have to like type in Knights of the Zodiac. I don't want to type in Saint Seiya. Don't ask me why, I just, I just prefer to type in Knights of the Zodiac. And I was like, that's up. that wasn't really my first taste of like adult or like teenage anime, pretty much. <sighs> then times changed. Anime change. Basically what happened was. Toonami decided to move to Saturdays. Toonami moved to Saturday. And. I was older. And I, was, I had to sleep in my grandma's bed that night. We could do to uh un due to my uncle sleeping in my bed, and uh, that was the first time I watched a little show called Naruto. Yeah, I was a big fan of Naruto. I was a Narutard, as people call him in the old days. I'm not as obsessed anymore as I am now. Today's Wednesday. The new chapter of the manga's out. Hold on, I must download. Because I am such a huge otaku, I must download now. Nah, I'm, I'm just a huge fan of this show. What the f- Okay, never mind. I'm such a huge fan of the show or the manga now that I just now just prefer to download it. Just download my phone and just read on the go. Download starting now. And then I watched another big show called Bo 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 Bo. Which I listed as the zaniest anime in known history. I mean, shit. How many animes have you watched where there was so much shit going on, you have no clue what's going on? I thought the show had no plot at one point. I mean, it went on from Bobo fighting bad guys to something about churros to a lot of weird shit. 
thank God that was rectified by Rave Master coming in after it. I'm like, oh hey, Rave Master, Rave, Rave, Rave Evolution. You know, it was a prequel cool show. I mean, I think it had one of the best endings for me. That was that actually went for like one of my favorite endings of any anime. Because, like, you can rave about it, you can dream about it, you can jump for joy. It was something like, it was something like a really cool, like, dream thing. And, really, to me, later on in life, like, probably when I, when I was starting second grade, that's when I really, second, third, and fourth, second, from second grade all the way to fifth to, like, eighth grade, that's when I started getting into, like, the really teenish animes before, like, Naruto and all that. Uh, I watched another show called, um, Inuyasha, another anime. Inuyasha was one of my f personal favorite animes. Uh, mainly because it dealt with a lot, it was, like, a lot more action-y, and I got away with so much, like, you know, the characters can curse, like, they can say, damn it. And, like, there was some pretty cool moves, like, like... It was the stuff you wouldn't see in the, like in the early morning shows. So I was like, "Yeah, in Yasha's Rock," and uh, that one anime everybody loves to talk about, Cowboy Bebop. Oh my god, where has this anime been in my life, man? I I I've, ever since I watched anime, I was like, I always want to look for a cool show that I could watch and share with a lot more people. I shared. Pretty much Cowboy Bebop with everybody. I was like, dude, that's like my favorite. That's like almost one of my favorite animes of all time. And that was my dad's favorite too because dad was really inverse into like... My dad's really into cowboy flicks and sci-fi stuff. And he was also a big uh, um, Bruce Lee fan growing up because of Spike style of uh, Jeet Kune Do. Jeet Kune Do. And then there was... Then later on... Then what? Probably second, third grade... That's when um, Inuyasha, I mean, not Inuyasha, Yu Yu Hakusho came out. Being such a crazy otaku, I would be like, oh my gosh, I have to get home and like watch like Yu Yu Hakusho. Uh, to the point where uh, my, one of the teachers at my school was like, oh my god, Greg, seriously, you're going to get home to watch this Yu Yu whatever the, f whatever the heck you call it. I just love to annoy the hell out of him with that. And, um, then personally, one of my really personal favorite animes of all time came out, Rurouni Kenshin. I was like, holy shit, this show is awesome. It has a dude with a sword who can't, who doesn't virtually kill people, but he can really wreck things up. And I just remember watching that series from start to finish, and I'm like, dude. Hell, I even go. I went through it again later on in like my life. <clears throat> yeah. Okay, that looks like I have to cut the video short right now, guys. Uh, I gotta go do something. I have to go somewhere. So, this is gonna be part one. Anime. So, disregard the beginning part of the video where I said it will be split into two. So, I gotta go. See you guys.